Now, at least there is a lot of emphasis on education and IT has changed its image. Now, parents are prepared to send their children to IT. In fact, I can tell you being an Air Force man, the CME aviation faculty, I was really impressed. I mean, they got all the best. You can really train guys the aviation industry to be a licensed engineer, you know, and work hard and get the license. So that means even though you couldn't get into poly and, you know, these are the top 60%, the 30-40%, at least there's an opportunity now because he has learned to maintain the aeroplanes all. He can earn three, four thousand dollars, just like a school teacher goes to university, comes back, graduates, you know, and teach in the school. Same. In our early days, only the people who are educated with qualifications can earn good money. But now we are telling you can be an IT trainer, <coughs> and there's a progression. IT train aviation maintenance and there's a progression. Our sense of achievement was, for me, was to see at least more Indian kids are studying. Now, not least in that, I was also a committee member in the Singapore Indian Education Trust, SIET, which we also raised a lot of funds for SIET. And SIET objective, which our President Nassar Nadan always used to say, make sure that we can try and produce as many graduates. So what we did is we targeted all the Polish students and as any, all the polytechnics that at one standing with universities. That means you come up with a diploma in electrical, mechanical or civil, then we will tell this particular person, look, we'll give you a loan, get a place in accredited universities and come back as an engineer. And they used to can go straight into third year, like University of Strathclyde. Polish students all used to go with a diploma and two years later they come back as an engineer. So during my term in Singapore Indian Education Trust, we did send quite a number of students to upgrade and get their degree.